After two days of deep exploration and one crack blog post and a research from Unsloth team, I have put together a tutorial where you can run the entire DeepSeq R1 model. This is not the distal model, not the Quen model, not the Llama model. This is the original DeepSeq R1 model, but toned down, like quantized into a version where you can run this for less than $5 on GPU. So I've got everything covered in this particular video from step by step, how you can get the GPU, how you can run this, and finally, until you can text generate or ask questions or get the response back. All this is possible due to this amazing, exciting blog post by Unsloth team that says DeepSeq R1 Dynamic 1.58 bit. I'm not going to waste a lot of time in this, but very quickly, if you were to understand, they've taken the entire DeepSeq R1 and separated it, like uh, split it into the parts which they can quantize down and understood what is a performance gain. And this is the table. What we are going to run in this tutorial is we are going to see the mixture of experts bits that are quantized down into 1.58 bit. So that basically reduces the model to 131 GB. This is still a huge model even at this level and it gets a fair quality. So this is what we are going to run in this. I would strongly encourage you to go check this blog post for all the required code and everything that you need. But I'm going to cover everything that I have learned throughout this process in this particular video. Let's get started with this. The very first step is for us to get a GPU. So in this case, we need a GPU that at least has got 160 GB of memory because we are trying to run the 1.58 bit part. So I've gone to run pod and then got two H100 machines. So after you get that, you can just select the template. In this case, I'm going to go ahead with the default one and click deploy on. After you deploy, you would get the basic 20 GB pod volume, which is not enough to download the model. The model is hundreds of GBs. So you need to edit the pod and then after you edit the pod, increase the container disk, which is not definitely a big problem. But in this case, I just did it to be safe and volume disk, which is 300 GB. After you do both these, then restart the pod again. So now you're going to get a GPU, which is two H100s, 80 GB each, 160 GB totally, with a 300 GB storage. Now in this machine, we are going to download first Llama CPP, and then we are going to compile it. Then we are going to download the Unsloth model, the 1.58 bit model, and then finally we are going to run this. All this is going to happen almost on a machine that is going to charge us $6 or if you take less than an hour, then it is like about $5. So this is going to be a two GPU setup. Now the machine is ready for us. All you have to do is click the Jupyter lab and then go to the Jupyter notebook. I'm going to use only Jupyter notebook in this particular case to make it easier for you to copy the code if you want to do it. So all these commands that I'm going to run, I'm going to run as a terminal command within Jupyter notebook, which is kind of a terrible way to do things. But just to make things easier, I've decided to do this thing. But you can do the same thing on your terminal as well. So I've clicked open a Python 3 terminal. And in the first cell, all we are going to do is we're going to see our machine's capability. So NVIDIA SMI and we have got two 80 GB machines. So two uh, a GPU cluster of two H100s, each 80 GB, 160 GB totally. The next thing that we have to do is we have to go ahead and then start installing Llama CPP. But this Llama CPP, we are not going to directly install it, rather we are going to build it ourselves. So the next set of commands are going to help you download Llama CPP first, update your Linux packages, then download Llama CPP and then compile Llama CPP. So once this is done, we will have an active Llama CPP for us to run it. So to compile Llama CPP, we're going to use a CMake and then do it. And then once that is done, then finally we are going to have Llama CPP ready for us to use with our model, which we are going to next download from Hugging Faces model. The Hugging Face model was downloaded. Next, we have to download the model for us to use. This is going to take a lot of time for me, particularly this took about like 40 minutes. I don't know if it was the machine that I chose, if it was the timing or the issue with the Hugging Faces model hub, but this is going to be the longest process that you are going to spend to download this model and then do this entire process. The model download has been successfully finished like about 160 GB and we have got three GGUF files, the sharded files. All we have to do is run the model with this particular script. This script will run the model Llama CPP using Llama CPP with the GGUF model that we downloaded. So there are certain aspects of this script that you have to understand. One thing as you can see here, we have offloaded 56 layers to GPU. 
So this one you can do it based on how much GPU memory that you have got. According to Unsloth blog post that with 280 um, GB memory, you could have done it 61 layers. But in my case, when I did 61 and 60 layers, I got out of memory, CUDA out of memory error. So I didn't want to risk it. So I, in this case, did 56. I went to 60 to 40 and then kind of found the sweet spot with 56 layers. Temperature of 0.6 is what DeepSeek has recommended. Rest everything is just basically you ask the question whatever you want. This is an Instruct fine tune model, not the next word prediction. So you can just go ahead and then ask any question that you want. And as you can see here, we have also set the context window of 8000 tokens. So that is something that you can also play with and then see. So in our case, we just gave the classical problem of the Sally three brothers thing. And this has been successfully finished. So if you want to change the code, so all you have to do is make a different question here. Like what is the capital of USA? And once you have this question, all you have to do is run it. And just remember that all these are command line questions, command line commands. And I'm just running it within Jupyter Notebook. So for everything, I have to start it with the bang and then run this. That is the main difference that you would notice between Unsloth blog code and then whatever I have shown on the screen. And it is pretty fast to be honest. Like as you can see, we have asked the question, the model layers are being loaded. These are being offloaded to GPU. And once it is done, then it will start answering the question. And because this is a thinking model, just remember that this is a thinking model. First, it mentions the question what you ask, then it opens the thinking tag and it starts having this internal monologue or conversation about what we are use asking. In this case, the user is asking, what is the capital of USA? Well, the answer is definitely Washington, but maybe I should check if there is any possible confusion. Then it kind of goes back to see, okay, how can I impress the user more? And this is just a 1.58 bit model. Um, imagine like you have a larger model, you can do a lot more things. At this point, the thinking token is finished. Finally, it gives us the answer that we need to just go ahead and then use it. So this is an excellent uh, innovation. I would say a big thanks to Unsloth team for putting together something that is mind blowingly simple for us to use. At the same time, we don't have to spend a lot of money from our pocket to run this. Once you have done everything, you can just basically close the GPU. And uh, if you want to keep on using this, I would say you have to keep the storage. But in this case, I just like, I'm not going to keep on using it. So you can just go ahead and then stop it. Otherwise you will be charged for the storage from run pod. And once you have done everything, just go delete the pod. And uh, this will ensure that you will not be charged for the storage and space as well. And I link the run pod uh, link in the YouTube description, just affiliated, but not sponsored. Thank you so much for Ansela's team for putting this together. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, enjoy running the largest or I should say the most efficient version of uh, DeepSeek R1 model, but for less than $5 or $6 without uh, sweating your wallet, without sweating your, sweating your compute. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Happy prompting.